Hello, I'm Kieran. I'm going to spend a few minutes talking to you about reflective learning and it's going to be really quick. If you want to know more, there's plenty you can read about. Reflective learning is what we call a constructed process, which means all of your experiences and events in life contribute to what you're learning in the background often. And sometimes we can take that time, reflective learning takes the time to really focus on what's happened, what experiences you've had. Sometimes things don't work very well. And here I'm illustrating this idea with, um, you've got a crosshead screw, you're trying to get it into a piece of wood. And the other tools you've got are a hammer, a flathead screwdriver and a garden fork. Between them, you could probably get the screw into the piece of wood, but it wouldn't be ideal. What we tend to focus on less when we've had experiences is when they went well, we don't really notice it just fades into the background. Sometimes it's good to take a moment to deconstruct why it went well, what was it that contributed to the success of your project. And it always reminds me of this saying, um, every now and then you've got to stop cutting down trees and sharpen the axe. When you are in an intellectual or um, uh, interactive, interpersonal skill set, we tend to not focus on what it is that we're doing that contributes to the success of our projects. Reflective learning really asks you to think about what's going on inside you, how are you contributing to the, su the success or the failure of, of situations and events, and yeah, it's about sharpening your interpersonal skills. Lots of different reflective models, lots of different theorists all have three things in common. They have a what stage, a so what stage, and a now what stage. And let's look at those three in more detail. The what stage, I Think of it as being a little bit like if you've got three jigsaw puzzles all mixed up in one box before you can do any of the puzzles you've got to separate out the pieces when you are thinking about you want to learn from an experience you've got to deconstruct the experience think about what was relevant what isn't relevant what can you focus on what you've got time to focus on and separate all these ideas out so that you can give them the attention they deserve and ignore the ones that aren't important that's important as well when you've got a really clear understanding of the events or the circumstances that you want to learn from, you need to go to the theory. Think about what are the theories that apply to your situation, to your practice area, whatever it is, and get some resources that will help you to understand what happened in the context of theory. And then you combine your personal experience with the ideas that are relevant from theory and think about what are you going to do in the future? And you need to get a little bit creative in this process. So here, this is the creation of Adam and Eve. Um, you need to think about what have you learned that you can apply in future. Finally, there are some skills, intrapersonal skills that are required for good reflective learning. One of them is resilience, that ability to bounce back from disappointment, from things that haven't gone very well. Another is forgiveness. You've got to be able to forgive yourself before you can learn from a mistake or something that wasn't perfect and also creativity. Already mentioned it, that last stage of, of reflective learning really involves you getting to grips with being inventive, constructive, creative. And that's it for now. If you've enjoyed my video and you want me to do some teaching for you, get in touch, uh, contact me at kieranhurley.com. That's my email address. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.